Hey, welcome there. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on Notability. This is a short four or five minute video. This isn't a big tutorial. I'll leave it for um, the YouTube videos and let, let them give you the, the massive review and the, all the features and stuff. So first of all, you're going to use Notability, which is that blue icon in the dock in the lower middle. It looks like a pencil attached to like a microphone, like a studio microphone. So you click on that and you open up your Notability. Um, the app itself is massive. I've been using this for years and years, so I have all this, you know, part A, this is the file structure. There's, there's folders, and these folders have, you know, subjects inside them, and, and it goes on and on and on, so we're just going to skip that. Number one, just skip that stuff, navigating through that and creating that structure. Leave it, leave it for a later time. Uh, part two is in the upper uh, right-hand corner, there's a, like a page with a pencil in it, the icon that has like a just a, a square with a, a, a writing utensil. That's how you start a new doc. So I'm going to click on that far upper right hand corner um, um, icon and you get a new document. And in this new document in the upper left hand corner there's a, a title. So if you click on that title out pops, well first of all it gets highlighted and it out, out pops this keyboard and you just type in, I'm going to type in AAA, AAA. You type in whatever you want. You can actually change the, the date and the time too. And in the lower far right hand corner, there's a little keyboard with a down arrow, a down like a little icon. You click on that and that, and that keyboard goes away. So, so part, part three is, you know, change the title. Okay, part four is, is the major meat and potatoes, the, the bulk of this. I'm going to click on this, this little icon here that looks like a purple pencil. It may be a different color, maybe black for you. But when you click on that, you get two different things you can do. You can change the color. You can change to green or light green or blue or anything you want. You can change the color. And there's pages of these colors. There's, I usually don't go past the first page. You can add more colors if you want to. But most of the things you need is just in that one page. And also you can change the, the diameter of the, of the drawing tool. So you can um, have it like super large, wide like this. You can have it like super thin. I usually do super thin like that. And you can do different kinds of touch sensitivity. And these are the settings I use. I use like the second to the smallest size, normal, um, you know, starts with uh, no flaring of this of these of these uh, drawings. So that's the bulk of what you're going to do. You can draw, you know, structures. You can draw arrows. You can do reagents. You can type. You can do anything you want. Okay, that's number I think four or five. Now let's see you want to erase something. So I'll change colors here. Let's say you want to erase something, you can use the eraser or you can use the undo. If you use the undo on the left hand, it just removes the last thing you draw, the last thing you drew. So I I'll hit that once, removes that arrow. Erase allows you to remove something that you did much earlier. So you just basically swipe it. I'm going to swipe this lower right hand a little, little squiggly too. And so you can erase past things or you can undo the most recent thing. So that, that's important. Uh, number seven is, see this uh, upper right-hand corner looks like two pages that are overlapping? If you click on that, it toggles on and off the, the page view. So right now there's two pages. There's page one that we're looking at and page two where um, it's, it's blank. So I can go to page two by tapping on it. And I didn't erase what I have. It's still up there. There it is. I just scroll down to the next page. You can see it as I scroll up and down, the blue highlight of the page shows up. And you can add things. So if I add things like, um, uh, uh, let's see, I'll hit that plus sign to add something, plus. I'll go to the uh, photo library. I'll go to recently added. And I'll see, I'll do this. I'll add that piece. I click on that, hit the, hit the word add in the very bottom. I can click on m multiple things, add all four. But I'll just add this one thing. And there's, I just added a JPEG, a little photo. And you can draw on it. Here, I'll switch to, let's say, a green. I can draw off this JPEG, onto this JPEG. I can do all, and I can resize it. And if it's, uh, well, there's, there, I can draw off of it to, to something on. If I resize it, those, that stuff follows with it. I could actually shrink the entire page by pinching. I can put one finger here, one finger here, and pinch, and it'll shrink this whole thing. And if I move those fingers away, It'll expand the whole thing. So I can draw on to a JPEG. I can pinch to zoom in and out. 
and I can like resize this whole thing by selecting that JPEG and then dragging a corner smaller to larger. Notice the things that are drawn on that JPEG we get resized too. Things that are drawn outside the JPEG don't get resized. Let's see what else. Um, oh, also, if I wanted to, to copy this or paste this, down here in this page view, there's three little dots in the lower left-hand corner. If I click on that, I can add a page, I can copy this page, or I can paste the last page. So I'm going to copy this page. I'm going to copy this page, hit the three dots again, I'm going to paste it, and I just made it, I just made two of the same pages. Page two and page three are identical. And now I can start erasing stuff if I wanted to. Be careful you don't want to erase the JPEG. If I erase on the JPEG, the whole thing will go away. So that's about it. Let's see. I want to do one more. Let's see. Oh, let's see. We'll add, instead of a JPEG, we'll add something from a camera. I'm going to take a picture of something here. I'll make sure the desktop is clean. Um, you can draw something on a piece of paper, take a picture of it, and then port that into to Notability too. So I'll take a camera picture, turn that on. We will take a picture of Carabelle. She's sleeping. Sleepy, sleepy cat. Okay, we'll take a picture of her. I'm going to use this photo, hit the lower right hand corner, and I'm going to drag her onto a new page. I can resize it. I can pick one. I can rotate her using that icon on the far middle right. I can resize it by dragging through any one of these, um, these corners. I can drag it larger or smaller. I can select it. I can cut, copy, delete, do all, all whatever it says on that on that tab. So you can put in pictures, you can put in JPEGs that are already in your camera roll. I think that's it. Let's see, the last part is if I hit this left hand, upper left hand corner, there's a little less than sign, it takes me out of this whole uh, document itself and back to the file structure. And there it is at the very top of the page is that titled uh, the document that we just worked on. I can open it back up. I can hit the upper left hand corner less than sign and there's ways to import it. That's the little share icon, but I'll leave that for a later, later tutorial. Okay, that's it. Good luck.